Hey everybody, welcome back to Leanne's Corner. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having a way much better day than I am because your girl is pissed right now. I am pissed off with Dunkin' Donuts. Now, I started two, three weeks ago and I was supposed to get paid today. That's not gonna happen. You know why that's not gonna happen? Because my manager was so unprofessional to where we never did the onboarding paperwork that I kept begging her that we needed to do. Let's go back. So on the 8th, which was on a Friday, I was supposed to do my onboarding paperwork, but she called me on my way there stating that she couldn't do the onboarding paperwork with me or the pre-hiring paperwork because the system had locked her out and she was waiting to get her logins reset and to come in Monday. Okay, fine, cool, no problem. So Monday gets there, which is the 11th of July. So when I get to the store, the lady that was there did not know that someone new was supposed to be coming in. The manager is not there. The one I'm supposed to do the onboarding paperwork with, the pre-hiring process paperwork with, she was not there. So the girl that was clocking in, I asked her, I was like, hey, I'm new. Today's supposed to be like my first day, but today is supposed to be the day where I set up direct deposit, do my pre-hiring paperwork. So I was like, um, do you know what time the manager will be in? She was like, oh, the manager ain't coming in today. So, okay, can you call her and ask her what am I supposed to do because I need to do my onboarding paperwork. So, the girl calls the manager and somehow the call got disconnected. But she did, before the call got disconnected, she did say that she wanted me to stay till close. Now, I had got there at 2 we close at 9, meaning we get off at 9.30. So, I worked that entire shift. I was not trained properly at all. The girl that was supposed to be training me, she wasn't even a trainer. She was just a regular employee. And then, not even just that, she said she kept complaining about having to train me or anyone else, which I was the only one in the store, but she was complaining about she doesn't, trainers actually get paid to train people. She's just a regular employee. So I worked that entire shift and then I come back on the 13th because I didn't hear nothing from my manager at all. So I come back in hopes that she was in the store because I never got her number. So I get the... It's a lot more employees there than what it was that Monday that I had work. So I get there and I'm like, hey, um, explain it to everybody like what's going on and that I need to really get the manager's phone number because I'm not gonna be coming in working for free. That's one thing I'm not finna do. So I get her number and I'm finna read y'all the text message. It says, hey, this is Lee. So I text her and I said, hey, this is Lee and Winston. Do you have a schedule for me? And when will I do my paperwork and get set up to start clocking in? She responds, you never did the paperwork. Question mark, question mark, question mark. So I'm sitting here thinking like, how in the fuck you don't remember us not doing the paperwork? I said, no, ma'am, I was supposed to do it Friday, but you rescheduled for Monday. The system was down and you had it to get your login reset and you was unsure as to how long it was going to take to get reset. So you rescheduled for Monday. Monday, I worked two to 9.30. Elaine called you about my schedule and the paperwork, but somehow y'all got disconnected and you never returned the phone call. So, so then she says, okay, I just called and they are still working on it cause it's up, but I can't log in. So let's reschedule for you to come in when things are settled so I can show you that you're getting paid and I sent your hours over to my boss so that no mistake will be made. Sorry for the inconvenience. I didn't plan for it to take this long. Now, this was the text messages that was sent after I had got to the store on my second day. 
So I said, okay, thank you. So then she said, send me a copy of your ID and your social. You're not even in the system. Shake my head. I know I'm not in the fucking system because we never did any fucking onboarding paperwork. So I send her a copy of that. So then she asks for my emergency contact or whatever. Gave that to her. She said, what's your availability? How in the fuck you don't know my availability when we had prior, we had talked about that when you offered me the fucking job. But I just told her my availability is over. Then she says, she asked for my email address. I give her my email address. Then she sends me a text message with a link saying that you're going you're gonna to log into Duncan, this link, and do your videos username or whatever and she gave me my username and password so i'm like okay thank you when the fuck am i going to do the part where i do my w4 and i fill out my information for my fucking direct deposit i'm still lost on that but i keep cool i keep cool and the link that she sent me was not even the appropriate link for me to go to to do the videos. So I sent her a screenshot of this is the link that you sent me and this is what's pulling up. So then she sends me the correct link. And she says, I have to refund the link. I'm not spelling it right. I said, okay, whatever. Then she gives me my clock in numbers. Then sends me another link the actual correct link because she sent me the wrong link twice so when she she did finally send me the correct link to watch the videos so i did that so then she texts me on a thursday which was the 14th she texts me saying can you come in to help i said want me to work until close she said, no, it's okay. Jane said labor is too high and I will have to wait before I let you start shaking my head. Girl, at this point, I'm convinced that you're, you don't know what you're doing and you honestly don't give a fuck. I'm like, okay. So she was like, if you want, so then she texts me on a Sunday and asks, if you want extra hours, you can come close tonight if you think you can manage. How the fuck am I going to close when I was never fucking trained? Do you guys understand where my frustration is coming from with this lady? So she sends me the schedule. So I text her back saying, no, I'm not comfortable because I haven't been trained. So she was like, okay, that's fine. So I called today because today was supposed to be the day that I was I get paid. I don't give a fuck if it was for those two days. I'm supposed to get paid today. So I called her and I asked her, I said, when do you guys pass out the checks? Was it yesterday or is it supposed to be today? She says right off the bat that, oh, you don't get paid today. You got to be, um, you got to wait two weeks before you get paid. No, sir. No, sir. I don't supposed to wait two weeks before I get paid because I started Monday and worked Monday and then turned around and came in. On a Wednesday, it worked for 30 minutes. So I'm supposed to get paid today, ma'am. Because it's a weekly pay thing. She was like, did you do your uh, direct deposit or stuff like that? I said, no, I don't. I thought I was supposed to be getting a check. I haven't did direct deposit. You know I haven't fucking did direct deposit. I haven't even filled out a W-4 form for the IRS. So... She's confused and she's like, what you, What do you mean you haven't did your, your paperwork? Because you never sent me anything or whenever I would ask you about it, you would like literally not answer my question like you don't know. Like if you don't know, so just say you don't fucking know and get the answer for me. But the way she handled me was like so unprofessional. She was like, well, I got to call James and talk to James about this situation because, um... This isn't right. You damn right it ain't right. So then I text her and I said, what's James' number? She texts back, said, I can't give his number out. 
I talked to James and he said, you didn't complete your onboarding paperwork and you need to look through that your email and spam folder and do that paperwork. That's something you have to do. If you can't find it, I will see if I can find a way to resend it. You never fucking sent it because if you sent it, I would have got it right along with the with the onboarding videos. I always check my fucking emails and I always make sure I check my spam first because a lot of the times, like everybody else, sometimes the shit get thrown into spam, especially if it's not a reoccurring email address that your email provider recognizes. Yeah, I text her back and I said, I did not receive an email at all. The only thing I received from you was the videos to do that was it. And that was the email. And that was sent to me via text message. Well, can you give him my number and have him call me? She said, so you need it resent. If I tell you that I didn't fucking get it, why would you even ask me, do I need it to be resent if I have not received it? So I text her back like, uh, yeah. So then she said, um, that's not how you reply to your boss. I do understand your frustration and I'm working on it to get fixed. And I text her back saying, and my boss should have handled my pre-hiring process way better than what she did. So we wouldn't be in this situation. Now, I don't even know if I'm going to get a check because of her fuck up and now she's trying to make me partially to blame like that that's not my fault everything that's going on so this is not my fault you were so unprofessional you didn't give a fuck how you gonna just hire somebody and not know that you got to do pre-hiring paperwork bitch when you got the job didn't you do, do pre-hiring paperwork didn't you didn't you didn't you so i don't understand where you're confused at I don't understand at all, whatsoever. Like, I'm so pissed off, y'all. Like, once I get my check or whatever, they can find me, they can do whatever the fuck it is that they want to do. But thank God that I got this job somewhere else that pays more and that's weekly pay like I want it. And that's not going to put me through half the shit that they put me through. And I ain't even really got my whole, both of my feet in the door yet. Like... I'm so pissed off, y'all. Y'all just don't understand. That's my rant. Drop your comments down below. Let me know. Let me know. Just drop your comments down below. Pray for me, y'all.